Hey everyone and welcome to another BJD Discussions. I have the hobbyist with me and we are talking about self-esteem. We're just going to talk about our journeys and then talk about advice for anyone who's newer. Okay. Trying to bring the newbies in. Put them underneath their wings. Exactly. Teach them how to fly again. Yeah, basically. Set them free in the wild. No, we have to keep them. Keep them in the hobby. Don't fuck them. I'll pep them up and then I'll just be like, mm, now you can make friends. I guess, yeah, that works. So, when you first, first started, like, what was your confidence like? Um, My confidence was like, I don't know, I guess it was like midway. Because I was like, okay, mm-hmm. I'm nervous to put my dolls out there. But, like, I'm going to because I, I pay for them and they're cool. I think they're cool. Now, mm-hmm. looking back, I'm like, they weren't cool. But mm-hmm. it's fine. <laughs> I was just like owning my truth. Yeah. And I was like, here's my dollies. They're out there. Mm-hmm. They're out and proud. And hopefully somebody likes them. Mm-hmm. And if not, then I guess that's fine. Mm-hmm. I'll find somebody who does. Wow. That's like bolder than me. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> How was your experience at the beginning? Um, I was like kind of low because, as I said, like, the doll that I ordered didn't come like how it said it was gonna come so I was like oh and then like I was trying to take photos but it was white skin I now know in the future don't do that white skin life so she kept like being washed out in photos so I was like upset because I went from pull-ups where you take a photo and they always look fabulous to (laughs) (laughs) needing to take like 10 million photos to get one with this new doll so Mm -hmm. I was like oh I guess I don't have it anymore like yeah, I get that. Yeah, so that was, I literally put my doll away for, like, a year. Aww. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, uh, uh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> yeah, so I guess lower. I'm sorry about that. That's okay. We got there with time. Yeah, it's always, time is always on your side. You just get comfortable. Mm-hmm. When did you think, like, how far were you in the hobby when you started to get comfortable? Um, I think, like, mm, a half a year into the hobby, because I was just like, mm-hmm. okay, I kind of get a vibe for the different types of people that are here, mm-hmm. and, like, where my my lines are, like, where I should stay, and where <laughs> you found the your lane. are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and where I'm not going to go, so I was, like, comfortable with posting pictures and sharing stories. Mm-hmm. Although, weirdly enough, I'm not comfortable sharing my story now. Just because I don't have it all together, whereas, like, now... Oh, when has seems, it been together? Everybody seems to have all their stuff together. Like, oh, it's like this, this, and this. Their background is like this. They're like this and this. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't have any of that. And I'm like, <laughs> shucks. Whereas before, I was like, okay, I'm comfortable. I'm just going to do what I want to do. And I post what I'm going to post. Mm-hmm. And now it's, it's, like, different. I'm more... You kind of have to restart, I guess? Um, you have to adjust mm-hmm. because, like trends, just the flow of the the hobby, everything changes. Mm-hmm. So I just had to change with that. That's fair, but it's hard to keep up sometimes. <laughs> That's true. You can turn around like literally. I turned around for like maybe three weeks, and I came back, and then I saw those tags, and I was like, yeah. oh, <laughs> like, like brand new world. Basically, I was like, everything is different from it was like a month ago. Exactly, but I'm not Jasmine, and then you're not Aladdin. Mm-hmm. You don't need to show me a whole new world. It's fine. I'm good. Well, sometimes it's fun because I found like some new people, and I was like, oh, hello. Yeah. It's a rare moment. We'll see now with like the YouTube thing, and if you put like age, like mm-hmm. it's 18 years or whatever, you can't search up, like if you search up something, like mm-hmm. BJD people, mm-hmm. their videos won't show up. Ah. So you just have to, like, magically find them, which is kind of annoying. Yeah. Fair enough. And, like, people recommend, hmm. please recommend new people to me. <laughs> I know. YouTube needs to get their shit together. Thank you. <laughs> That's what they need to do. They need to have, like, a little thing, like... They should like, be able to recommend, like, other 18... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There should be, yeah. like, a checkbox, like, click here for more options, like, an advanced search, and you can click for, like, 18... Plus mm-hmm. people, mm. whatever. That'd be nice. Hopefully, eventually they get it together. Hopefully, 
I'd say I guess my confidence built. Literally, my confidence built the second I got my second doll. Yeah. <laughs> Cause like this doll, I had learned I didn't get white skin. <laughs> I had gotten a wig before, like, I'd gotten a wig and I think eyes before the doll showed up, Mm -hmm. and then I was like, well, I kind of have some outfits at home, so we'll just see, and, like, literally the second after I put, like, the wig on, I was like, oh, my God. You're perfect. Yeah, (laughs) and I was, like, posting and, like, doing little photo stories already. (laughs) That's adorable. I love that. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm part of the hobby. I found my place. Yeah, basically. (laughs) And then it slowly started to continue. Mm-hmm. And before I knew I had, like, four. <laughs> yeah. Somehow they multiply. Mm-hmm. And I'd say I was, like, I guess mid-confidence for a while. Then there was, like, all this intense, like, recast drama. And I was like, oh, my God, what's going on? Why is everyone doing all this crazy stuff? Yeah. <laughs> so I was, like, it was, like, a rocky time, I think. Anytime those, like lows hit it's like you gotta stay close to your people Mm -hmm. because if not things can get a little rocky and you're like yeah you just have to remember your place and like why you're here and it was kind of rough because like all the people i had followed started dropping off yeah so like usually if like anything rocky happened i'm like well i still got my homeboys so it's good (laughs) but they're disappearing so i'm like uh yeah (laughs) You're like, okay, I'm in the middle of the sea with no life preserved. Yeah, like, I'm screwed. <laughs> basically. So then, like, what I ended up doing was, like, block, well, not blocking, just unfollowing toxic people. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, I'm going to do my own thing. That's smart. That's good and smart. Yeah. To do. Because you don't want to, like, mess up the hobby. Like, that's your your happy place. Mm-hmm. Or, like, the place you go to to get away from other things. That's what I'm saying. I'm like... It's supposed to be fun. Yes. But yeah, that's that's uh that's like a piece of advice that I would give to somebody, like just cut off the parts that are not mm-hmm. gonna jive with you. Because if not it's just not gonna make the whole experience fun. Mm-hmm. What did like when did you start realizing that you gotta cut some ties? <laughs> oh. When you gotta dip out. Um, when people who are like quote unquote your friends and you like see them saying things about like generally things that you're involved with recaps, like mm-hmm. they're like, ooh, people who own recaps are trash. And I'm like, well, I own them, but you're my friend, so I don't know like if you know this. Mm-hmm. And I always say that I'm owning recaps, so I don't understand why people don't reflect on the fact that what they're saying is also saying it to me. Mm-hmm. Like just because I'm your friend doesn't mean that all of a sudden you're not saying that to me. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that was like when I was like, okay. Clearly friendships, quote unquote friendships, Mm -hmm. are not like a thing in this hobby sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's just like, oh, we're going to be like fake friends and we're going to cloud each other up. Mm -hmm. I'm good. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, I'm going to exit out of this screen. It's spam and I don't want it. So I was like, I got to go. And now I normally just unfollow people because it seems like when you block people, I mean, even now when you unfollow people, they get in such a tizzy but I don't block people because then they get in, like, a big, bigger tizzy. They're like, I don't understand why they blocked me. There are people who block me, and I have no idea that they exist. Same. I'm like, you live on planet Earth. I did not know. Mm-hmm. I'm like, like, somebody will send me something. I'm like, okay, let me click on it. And then I realize they're, they blocked me. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you don't know me, but that's fine. I don't care. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's whatever. So I guess that was, like, when I decided, I, like, figured out that sometimes not all bridges need to be connected. Sometimes you can raise up your side of the bridge and there's no traffic flowing over yeah. to your happy town. It's kind of nice. <laughs> or, like, now, if there's, like, a big, like, drama moment, mm-hmm. like, I might not even know about it till like, a month later. And I'm like, oh, okay, but that's nice. Exactly. Like, that's when you know your circle of trust is good and pure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're like, oh, this is happening? I did not know. Exactly. <laughs> Those are always great. It's so nice. I was just like, let me flourish. <laughs> exactly. People are just out here snipping wings, and you're like, mm-hmm, I'm flying free. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about, like, people, their confidence is down because, like all of us, they're like, I'm broke. So. I mean, don't focus on that part. Focus on another part. Like, yeah, if you're not able to 
like I guess support another doll just do other things focus on your other dolls that's what I do when mm -hmm. I'm like I really want to buy this doll but I don't have the money to buy it I'm like okay I'm just gonna work more mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna work on my other dolls and get them together stories always good to work on mm -hmm. um but yeah just don't focus on like the downside or like the down parts and the parts that are going to make your confidence lower and lower mm -hmm. because then you'll just be in a pocket and there's sometimes no way of getting out of that i also feel like there's a trap sometimes <laughs> like say you're kind of like stuck like i don't know i can't buy something and then you kind of like follow someone who like you kind of are inspired by mm -hmm. but like in turn you feel bad when you see them post their stuff, but you can't do anything. Yeah. So I'm like, mm, maybe if you can, like, temporarily unfollow yeah. sometimes, that helps. That would be called a mute. Yeah. Well, I think you can only mute stories. I don't think mm -hmm. you can mute posts. You can posts. mute feeds. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, that's nice, too. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. in there like, boom, boom, boom. No, you, you. Yeah, you just mute them for a bit. I'm like, I love your dolls, but you're putting me in a sad spot. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And I don't think so a lot of people realize that. Yeah. Or, like, some, and I feel like a lot of people are too hard on themselves, too. True. Very true. We're our worst critic. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it comes with the territory. There's so much, like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of, like, friendly, almost family, like, moments, but there's still some competition. Mm -hmm. Which it doesn't need to be, but that's just life. Yeah. That's just human, being human. Mm -hmm. That's just how we do. We compare ourselves to other people. Mm -hmm. So... Hopefully, one day we get out of that mentality. Yeah. Here's a tough one. How do you think elitism plays into self-esteem? I think sometimes people with elitism think they're amazing and they're the baddest bitch in the game. Mm -hmm. But they're the saddest people, and this is, like, their only thing that they have, which wow. makes it very sad when you think about it that way, which is why I try not to be, like, a super douchebag I was like, That's to deep. those people. But then I'm also like, you don't need to shit on another person mm -hmm. just because you are also having like a shit moment or like you're in a downtime and you just want to make everybody feel down. You don't need to do that. So I'm just like, don't, don't mm. engage. <laughs> just don't engage. If you see somebody like, mm -hmm. oh, I'm the best. My pinky's all the way up. Like my doll is like pristine, white gloves all the time. Face up is perfect. Mm hmm. <sighs> I have this doll from this company, got the company face up, got the company outfit, got the full set, got everything. Like, just let them have their moment, because they're shining only in, in their own glory. Like, that's great for them, but that's just a moment for them. Yeah. When we're here to have a moment as a community. So, don't even entertain that. That's pretty good. I would say that's, like, a great way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm like... What about, do you think it makes it worse how, like, I guess there's specific groups, like, for example, there's meetups that are, like, just folks, or just sluts, or, I don't know, I never see a just fest and soul, but. <laughs> <laughs> I swoop in, I'm like, I, got a body. I just come with a body. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm in! Got two bodies, like, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> They're like, mm, where's the head? Me. Like, you said rest and soul only, so, like, <laughs> Exactly. This is my part. I come with some hands. <laughs> you can't kick me out because technically. Exactly. I'm here. Yeah. I'm out and I'm proud. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I get that people want to have their own little click. I don't get why, though. Like, for example, like, a Dolshi. Why do we need specifically just Dolshis? I guess to appreciate them as a whole which I get because mm. like if we're going to take a dolshi as an example they have some beautiful sculpting however if we're going to talk if I'm going to a dolshi meetup mm -hmm. you best believe there's going to be a counter little situation like group where we talk about the wait times and how they're trash <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm going to come here and I'm going to stir up a little bit the dolshi rose <laughs> I'm going to be like we're here to enjoy and look at these beautiful dolls how ever mm -hmm. You know, sometimes with the good, there is bad. <laughs> the wait time. Can we talk about that? How long did you wait for your doll? <laughs> they have that on DOA. Comparing, like, lengths. It's, like, it's literally, I think it's called wait time. Mm -hmm. 
on BOA and people just say when they got their dolls. Yeah. How long it took. So sad of me. I think it's called the waiting room. Yeah. Yeah. They have different waiting rooms for all of the different companies. I've been there and I just. <laughs> yeah. And for like um, Let's and Volks, I'm like. I don't see anything in that. I don't have any dolls from them. Mm-hmm. I don't. I have a Lutz head. I don't see. It's in the like future. Fairyland. Oh, sorry. I was supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see in the future me like even being like into that. Like unless magically, mm-hmm. I don't think the look of them is what I like for my collection for now. Yeah. Um. But even if I did, I wouldn't. I would. I don't think I would single out and just go to like a Lutz only. Hmm. Because then you're just going to see pretty much all the same dolls. That's like, what I'm saying. I don't get the idea. Like, I get celebrating it, but, like, I don't know. I like to see new things. I also don't like to keep people out of things that are supposed to be, like, community-based. Yeah, that makes sense, too. Yeah. Exactly. Imagine if there was, like, a boy doll only. Mm. <laughs> Me. Swooping in. <laughs> Hey, shirtless or <laughs> put a disguise on? Exactly. Pay no attention to the lace on my forehead. <laughs> oh my. No, it's okay. Yep. But yeah, that's how I feel about that. Do you think self-esteem, like, say, out of a group of people entering at the same time, you think your age would determine your self-esteem? Coming no. into the hobby. No. Because there's, like, younger people that I've seen come in that are perfectly fine with it. And then I've seen people that are older than me that are, like, kind of timid coming in because they've mostly seen, like, younger people. They don't know exactly where they fit. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it just depends on the quality of the person. Yeah, that's fair enough. Not really the age. Because you can always find a little bit of your age range mm-hmm. in the hobby. Whereas, like... I talk to everybody in different age ranges, so mm-hmm. you just have to get comfortable with the people overall, not just let me seek out people in their late 30s. Well, the funny thing is I've actually kind of seen groups like that. I mean, that's fine if like... that's what you're going to do, because then, for the most part, you're all going to be able to relate to each other. Mm-hmm. But I find that I'm able to relate to everybody in, like, a little bit of ways. Like, unless you're starting to talk about, like, high school, then I'm like, mm. I mean, I did go, but... Yeah, I'm not different. there anymore, so I don't know. Like, your high school times now are different than my high school times so then, so. Yeah. I get that. And then some people who have families, they're like, oh, well, you know, I was going to get this, but little Timmy needed this, this, and this. And I'm like, <laughs> that's why I don't have kids. <laughs> <laughs> Low key insulting them. <laughs> I'm like, I already know I'm suffer, so that's why I don't have kids. Sorry. Yeah. It's just nice. I... I would like someone to put a, a video about how they balance kids and dolls. Yeah. Because, like, they give, like, a little, like, a little tiny little bit, but I'm like, I just, can I have a, a more detail? Yeah. <laughs> so I can actually imagine it. <laughs> yeah. So then you can prepare yourself for the future. Yeah, because, like, I see some people, they get dolls all the time, but they have kids. And yeah. And I'm like, I just wonder how the balance is. Yeah. I've seen that, and then, like, they don't have normally it's like the woman that has like the dolls and the child and like sometimes they don't have jobs and I'm like how does this I wonder that yeah I also have seen of course like the crazy side where I've seen women with kids and like I just got a new doll and then like two later like two weeks later like well I really need money Mm -hmm. I'm just like Mm. that's why I kind of I wouldn't mind hearing from a parent. Yeah. This is what, I'm what goes on. Like, is that person just irresponsible? Or... Because I know things pop up in yeah, yeah. life in general. But, like, is there just a standard way that parents do it? Yeah, I, I guess, like, some people would probably do, like, a savings. Mm-hmm. Like, just put a little bit aside. If you have plans to buy it all. Mm-hmm. Um, just put it to the side and then you slowly build it up and then you can do whatever you want. So just in case something does pop up, mm-hmm. then you're able to use that money. But even if it doesn't pop up, you can still buy your doll. And then if that thing does pop up, you still have like the money that you normally would have. Yeah. Which makes sense. Yeah. I think that's what I would do. Same. 
sip a 20 every week. <laughs> That's what I do sometimes. I'm like, we'll just put 20 in that account mm-hmm. that I don't use ever and throw the card away. Yeah. Then I'll call them when I need, need really need the money. <laughs> I'm like, hey, can I get a new card? Okay, can I get it back? <laughs> can you help me? Yeah. Just cut the card up. So then you still have the number on the card just in case you gotta do like a one line thing. Mm-hmm. But you can't swipe it. There you go. Which is always nice. Mm-hmm. Tips. <laughs> Hobbyist tips. You're letting us know. You know where it's at. I try, you know? I try. I think. What do I even do? Yeah, I like make a little savings. Because, like, I call it my leisure saving. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So basically, it's for anything I want to do. For, like, I want to get my nails done, then it's the leisure saving. Yeah. Yeah, and then I just okay. do that, and I'm like, oh, I really want a doll. I'll be like, well, let's see what it says. <laughs> exactly, you're like, okay. What do I got in there? <laughs> you're like loading up the screen, okay, 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 okay. Exactly. Can I get this? Or what's her looking at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's like the smart way of doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you, like, what would your advice be, I guess, for people who compare themselves I'd say, like, even in real life, even at meets, like, do you say, like, just don't do it at all? Or, like, would you advise, like, take everything with a grain of salt? Or what would you say for that? I mean, if you're comparing yourself mm-hmm. and the outcome is negative, don't do it. And if you're comparing yourself and you're like, okay, it's a positive, it's like, okay, this is what I need to do to get to this point. This is what's going to push me. Mm-hmm. Then, sure, do that because some people... They motivate themselves like that. Yeah, I've heard of that. It's like, okay, I'm going to put a poster of this body type that I want to get to. Then that's what you want to do to get to that part. But you got to do it all in in a positive stride. Mm -hmm. But if it's all negative, then don't do that. Because Mm -hmm. some people already have, like, a low self-esteem coming into the hobby. And that's why sometimes Mm -hmm. when people say things to people who are already Mm weak-minded, which sounds like a bad thing, but, like, I've been there. I've been weak-minded, like what people are saying. I feel like everyone has a moment because like sometimes things are happening in life yeah not related to dolls yeah that puts you in that state and then yeah and then somebody comes and they say something Mm -hmm. and you take all of it and you're like this is exactly what it means it's right towards me it doesn't put anybody in a good headspace Mm -hmm. and I think it's always good to stay in a good headspace because it's you and you're alone Mm -hmm. at the end of the day so you gotta keep yourself in check yeah. And keep yourself in a good balance. I always say, I'm like, I, I always seem like a snake, but like, I just like at the end of the day, I can just click off of my, because I have like my own, it's weird because I have like, like for example, for YouTube, I have like my own secret account mm-hmm. and then I have my doll stuff and I mm-hmm. only follow doll people and all that stuff. And then I have like my other stuff I'm interested in. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, at the end of the day, like, if things are not going so well with the mm-hmm. doll stuff, I have, like, my own separate thing not related to dolls yeah. at all that gives me, I guess, a break from the hobby. Which, oh, yeah. Which sounds crazy, but, like, since no things go down sometimes in the hobby, it's oh, like, I, have, I need a break from the like, hobby. three different ones. Mm-hmm. I have, like, one for, like, book-related stuff, one for BJD-related stuff, and one for Reborn-related stuff. Mm-hmm. And, like, the book-related stuff, I'm just, that's just, like, one personal one that I normally do stuff on. Yeah. I'm, like, eventually I'm going to make an account on this one and actually, like, post things. <laughs> for now, I just come on here and, you know, lurk. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. It's the same thing with, like, Instagram. Mm-hmm. I have the same thing going on there. Same. I have, like, a, I, I call it my normal, air quote, yeah. <laughs> Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Where I have, like, hair tutorial, like, people doing hair, makeup. Not so much makeup, but, you know. Yeah, I have one with, like, all of my high school friends on it, and I'm like, that's, like, a separate thing. Yeah, I have a separate one for that, because I never post anything on that one. I just creep. <laughs> yeah, same. I do a little bit of both. Yeah. So, if I guess that's, like, a suggestion for some people, because I know there is some people who... They don't, like, everything is all together, always. Yeah, because they say it's easier to do, but when, like, your hobby becomes, like, a big wave crashing in on your personal life, Mm -hmm. it's kind of nice to have a way to step back. Yeah, exactly. That's my thoughts. I mean, if you're mixing up all your hobbies, like, if you're putting your art and, like, photography and then your dolls all in one, then that's Mm -hmm. great, but then you also need, like, a personal one. Mm -hmm. So that you can always step back from what you enjoy so you 
you can have that space. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like having your work always at home. Exactly. Sometimes it's nice to have, like, an office and you can, like, leave yeah. there and go home. Be a separate place. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And I think, like, even if I'm just, like, nothing talks has happened, but, like, I don't know, I have, like, a creative block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of, like, nice to just be like, I'm just gonna put that to the side for a bit mm-hmm. and then come back, look at it with fresh eyes. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's why I would like to have a separate doll room. Me too. So then I cannot always look at them because they're always looking at me and I'm like, I get it. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> that's why I have the cover. So then I just cover them for, and then... Reveal them when I when I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> You're like dun dun back. I'm yeah, back, I'm ready. exactly. We're Let's like, get Oof. some work done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess that was it for this one. Oh, that was like nice and sweet. I told you. <laughs> it's exciting. It wouldn't be too bad. Yes. Right. I tried to help <laughs> the little fledglings because I know that like the new people get so discouraged when they come in. Mm-hmm. Especially when it's, like, somebody popular and then you hear, like, the horror stories that happen in the hobby, which aren't, they're not rare and they're not always mm-hmm. constant. It's just, like, right in the middle. Mm-hmm. I know that that can just discourage people from joining the hobby, especially mm-hmm. because it's so expensive. Yeah. And you want to make friends. Mm-hmm. Like, in, any, in anything you put your mind and your heart into, mm-hmm. and you're creative creativity into you want to make friends so then you can have somebody to share with yeah and when you get discouraged it's just it's like a bomb going off you're just like ah i thought i was gonna like put all my my eggs in this one basket (laughs) now i just have scrambled eggs (laughs) (laughs) what am i supposed to do (laughs) so i get that yeah i just try to tell people like Mm -hmm. sometimes it's nice to just step away or ignore the bad parts i know it's like you don't want to be it like going around with your nose up in the air and not giving a care about what's happening around you. But sometimes that stuff can do damage. Yeah. Mentally. Especially when somebody's like, this is like my safe zone. Mm-hmm. And this is my happy space. Like, it's just... Yeah. Not a good time. Toxic. And I don't care for that. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm not always seeing something with, like, something recast related is, is happening because I'm, like, I don't want to put forth all of that effort mm-hmm. into that. And it takes a lot out. And also sometimes the arguing is just pointless because, like, deaf ears. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nobody's listening. Nobody's taking notes. Yeah. They're just, like, what I say is right and I'm just talking to a wall. And I'm, exactly, I'm <laughs> not going to even think about anything else or consider anything else. Nope. Because I'm, like... <sighs> Okay. Yeah. Like, I see your view. I understand your view. Mm-hmm. And I'm just, like, trying to have a conversation. <laughs> Can you do the same for me, please? Yeah. Because we're humans. Like, treat me the same way I'm treating you. Mm-hmm. I don't think people get that. Mm-hmm. I don't think they've been taught that. Treat the people the way you want to be treated. Mm-hmm. I think so. I think, and sometimes I think, like, once they're in hobby mode, all rules of the regular world do not apply. Okay, well then I'm gonna uppercut somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> Punch necks. Okay. <laughs> Ask Vinny, I'm okay with punching necks. I don't care. <laughs> Punch everybody's neck. You know, one day someone's just gonna post something and you're gonna have like a punch emoji in the comments. <laughs> I'm like, get that whack shit out of here. <laughs> They're gonna be like, what is that? Fist bump? No. No. No, we're not friends. Bunch. We're not friends. That's not fist bump. Get out of here. <laughs> Do like the running emoji behind that, chasing mm-hmm. them down. Mm-hmm. <sighs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, I, I Do like the little tension um, emoji. Oh my god. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna end it here.